Welcome back to Missions Ignite. I'm Miss Joanne, and this is the last episode in the Cameron Townsend story, a man who founded Wycliffe Bible Translators. Last week, we heard how Lori Anderson had been bitten by an anaconda snake, and people expected her to die. But God is more powerful than a snake, and she recovered, and she lived. Chief Tyree and his whole family had accepted Jesus as their savior from sin. But there are still people all around the world who do not have God's word, the Bible, in their own language. Translating the Bible is very hard. If you remember, it took Cameron 10 years to translate just the New Testament of the Bible the very first time. Cameron always struggled to find just the right words to make sense to the Indian tribes. One time he tried to translate Revelation 3.20 and that says, Revelation chapter three, verse 20 says, behold, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come into him and will dine with him and he with me, Revelation 3.20. But you know what? This was an Indian village and they lived in huts. They didn't even have doors, so they didn't have a word for door. When Cameron would go to visit somebody, he would stand out and just cough real loud so that people would know he was there. So Cameron had to translate the verse to say, behold, I stand outside and cough loudly in order for the verse to make sense to the Kachikel people. One time Cameron couldn't find a Kachikel word for love. One tribe had 25 words for banana, but not one word for love. They didn't understand what the word love means. Maybe you can think of someone who might need help understanding that Jesus loves them. Try to think of words that you could use to explain the love of Jesus in a simple way. Sometimes God asks us to do things that are hard. God had asked Cameron to translate the Bible so people who speak other languages could understand God's word. By just two years ago, Wycliffe missionaries had translated parts of the Bible into 1,500 languages. And they had translated the whole Bible into 650 languages. But you know what? There are still 1,600 languages that still need to be translated so that people can read and understand God's word. Millions of people still have not heard that Jesus loves them and that he died for them so they could be forgiven of their sins. If you have believed in Jesus as your savior, maybe God wants you to be a missionary and tell others about him and how they can be saved. Maybe God wants you to translate the Bible for people who don't have God's word in their own language. If you feel God wants you to become a missionary when you become older, you can pray and ask God to show you where he wants you to go. You can also work and learn another language in school. But the most important thing you can do is obey God when you know he's telling you something. Will you follow God and let him use you to tell other people about him? The Bible says in 1 Timothy, we have another Bible verse here. In 1 Timothy chapter 2, verses 2 and 3, this is good and acceptable in the sight of God our Savior, who wants all people to be saved and come to the knowledge of the truth. That's 1 Timothy chapter 2, verses 2 and 3. 
Someday God might ask you to help translate the Bible into another language. Would you be willing to do that? Right now, you can pray for the missionaries all over the world who are working hard to help people have a Bible in their own language. Well, this is the last episode of the light, true life story of Cameron Townsend, a man who loved Jesus so much. And he's such a wonderful example for us today. But remember, there are additional true life stories of great missionaries right here on Missions Ignite. And this has been a presentation of Child Evangelism Fellowship. It's the Three Rivers chapter, and I'm Joanne West. Thank you for watching.